Hey guys, I wanted to just uh, create a quick message for part two of your true self as an unlimited being. And so when you really get that, you and the father are one. And uh, uh, from the beginning, you were Elohim's Genesis one, and you had the ability to create both physically and spiritually. You realize that everything that is, is um, created from God himself. Everything that exists, the only existence of everything which was God in the beginning. So anything that comes after that was created by the only thing that ever existed, which is God. And so everything exists. And what's so cool to me is science is bearing that out, that when you have a change in thought and emotion, that literally every atom in the universe literally changes at the same time. And so um, the hardest thing to do is to be who you are not. And God is, I am. And so the only limits we have to get rid of, but reading this Lester Levinson book, again, Happiness is Free, uh, really impacting me. I taught on it a couple of years ago, but it's really impacting me after Jerry and, and Marie and some of you have shared some things out of them like, oh, yes, I forgot how good it was. It's even more meaningful because we all, we, all, we all realize more and more who we are, that we've already and always have been one with God. And every every person in the planet has been that. And it's really great to me. So all the no's and nots as I've I've shown you come from fourth century, basically, when it went into Latin and ultimately English. Um, that the Greek and Hebrew, the original letters tell a beautiful story. And uh there's so much meaning in it. And all the no's and the knots and the negatives, the unholy, the unrighteous, literally wrong translations of the unseen man, the hidden place, the secret place and no apparent means where something literally is being formed or shaped out of the imagination of man or the inner inner man. And so they translate it as no or not, which literally it just says in the unseen or the, the, the man within shall be revealed, which the man just meant the ability to, to cast seed, the ability to create that the life is in the blood or the seed of the man was really what the whole thing was about. And so I just wanted to share a couple of things with you out of this book and then uh, read out of John 1, because this is so rich when you get this. So when you realize that God is within and uh, one with God, that's your true nature. It's limitless. God is omniscient. He's all powerful. He's infinite. And so I just want to share this because this is so good to me. And it's just repetition, I think, is the key that you, you hear it and you go, yes, that's who I am. That's my heart resonates with that. And so he's sharing that. He said, when I saw that everything was happening to me, had a thought before it happened, which if you if you dwell on a thought long enough, guys, it creates the emotion. And so it's really the inner man. I realized that if I could grab hold of this, I had a thought before every, anything happened. I realized if I could grab hold of this, I could consciously determine everything that was happening to me, which would make sense if he's given you the keys to the kingdom, which is the role of rule and reign. I saw that I was responsible for everything that was happening to me because of my former thinking. So meaning if, if I was abusing my thinking, I would you know, start to experience it in my life. If I only thought on positive and everything what I wanted, that everything's perfect and not out of order, everything's in harmony. And that's the, guys, if, if, if you leave things alone, it naturally goes to homeostasis and harmony. We literally have to be the creators of our negative thoughts and emotions to create something negative. The sun comes up perfectly. The seeds come up perfectly. The birds know when to chirp. I've always shared that. It's like, um, I don't know, as we were sharing this morning in the fellowship, I don't know how fast the International Space Station is going, but if you ever watch that, this is how precise and orderly the world is. Is You, know, you see this International Space Station, you see this rocket really, uh, I don't care which which religion, which country, which, plant, which uh, um, state it comes from, it's so orderly for every human being, which to me, it never made sense that the thing was fallen. Again, it was mistranslation in the fourth century where we got all the no's and nots and negatives. It is all about a celebration of life and the life to come in scripture. It's all good. You, there's no bad news in the good news, Lily. But you watch this International Space Station and you see you know, this, this capsule that's shot up by Russia or it really doesn't matter which country. And you watch this thing going so fast, so many thousands of miles an hour, and it's so precise that you can shoot it from a stationary object, let's just say Cape Canaveral in Florida or Russia, and going thousands of miles an hour. It's like it's just going slow motion, perfectly synced up, and they sink, and they took a human being from the Earth into space and went into this capsule that's rotating the Earth thousands of miles an hour. That's how precise the world is. It's not falling. It's all good. It's all, all good. 
So he says, every thought has is the creation that that's, then you can take dominion. He says, freedom is the feeling that I was now able to determine my destiny. I'm now able to control my world. I'm now able to arrange my environment to suit me. Yes, we are, guys. You can. There is new freedom lightened by my internal burden so greatly that I felt that I have no need to do everything because you are. So it's really all the limitations where we think we have to do something or be something. You already are. I am is, is God. And his nature will be that forever. And they are one with that. So when you realize that, you know what, if I see my life as in order and everything's in harmony, the world naturally naturally starts to bring that harmony into it. So the stress comes, the incoherence, the disharmony comes from a lot of the theology we were actually taught. If you're taught separation, that you're separate from everything and separate from God, your true nature is one with God and it knows, no, that is not right. And it starts to cause stress. If you if you take something that's, that's not literal and you're trying to force yourself on you, that you are separate from God and you're impotent and you have no power. You're the core of your being, the inner you, the real you knows that is not true. And you have this incoherence, which causes all kinds of stress. And, and so what, what the premise is what he's talking about in this book is he goes, the only thing you have to get rid of is the, the self-imposed limits that said you are not something or don't have something. And he's the truth is that everything is and both bends and shapes to what you do within guys the creative ability of God and man. So watch this. This is really cool. And I'll show you the scripture. Exactly. And so it says, um, I see that the source of everything is energy, boss, photons, you know, packets of energy, pack, light packets of energy. And all intelligence is basically harmonious. That harmony is what rules the universe. That's why planets are not colliding. That's why the sun rises every day. And that's why everything functions perfectly. So meaning that there's an unlimited source of anything you could ever have or every, anything you ever desire, which is so great. It says, I saw that the only limitations I had were ones that I had accepted or basically untruths about yourself. You're not this. Money doesn't grow on trees. Well, you know, anytime people say that or, you know, they, who's this infamous they or, well, you know, that means you've laid a hold of that untruth probably, but it's not, doesn't, not everybody has to do that. He says, when I realized <clears throat> that everything outside was not, was it, you can no longer be fooled by the apparent limitation of the world. <clears throat> the real changeless substance behind everything is within you. It's the essence of God itself. He says, once you get your true identity, who you are, where you can simply picture something, everyone moved to serve you. When you're in tune, you have every thought, every atom in the universe moves to fulfill your thought. This is true. Guys, this is what science is presenting. This is what uh, what's worked with thousands and thousands of testimonies that people share with me all the time. When you get that, you, now you become your true identity, which is infinite power and infinite being. And I just wanted to share this with you again. This is so rich, guys. So um, <clears throat> he says, uh, uh, hold on. So this is what's so rich. <clears throat> And the question was this, and he, he talks about three levels of, of states or states of a consciousness. Consciousness is what you've accepted or you're paying attention to. He talks about apathy or inaction is the lowest, um, meaning I, I feel so worthless. I feel so depressed. There's no energy which causes life in me. So we do nothing. And then he goes, the second, a better state where most people are actually in is action. And then it goes to inaction again, meaning action is at least better because you see potential and you go, if I do these things, then this will happen, which is really true. And what Dispenza would call is that's matter trying to push matter, which is fine. That's where most people are. Um, <clears throat> but he goes, is there a better way? And that's the, the highest state, which Le with Lester talks about is inaction again. <laughs> so you do nothing, but you don't think you're powerful. You think you're powerful if you do. That's a higher state, actually. That's where most people are at. But there's also a state where I can simply have a thought because I know it's the infinite power of God being released. And that thought becomes into my reality. That's what, what the dispenser would call creating from the field. Is there a better way? It says, yeah, knowing that the field, the, the energy that you're creating simply by having a thought and enjoying as if it's already real, knowing that the minute I did that, that every atom in the universe moves to fulfill that thought is true. Now it's in action again. I'm not the doer. The God in me is doing the doing. The strength of God, it's in the seed. The seed is cast within my heart and mind. 
and it has the power to draw everything in it to itself, which is beautiful. So the, the question was, this lady said, well, she had to go out and get a job. She can't just sit there and do anything. I'm, I know this is repetitive, guys, but I want people to catch this because this is the highest state is knowing who your true identity, which is one with God. <clears throat> and, and Lester's response, <laughs> he says, no. The, he goes, no, I disagree with that, basically. If, even if she had locked herself in a chamber somewhere, the things would automatically come to her. You don't sit and wait. You don't do anything. See, this is the inaction of the highest state. You let go of the sense of doership. You know that everything is already perfect. So you go, everything's in harmony and everything's perfect. You could say it like this, all things work together for my good. If you truly believe that, nothing really gets you that rattled. Yeah, everything's working perfectly. Because when you're in that state, it just naturally happens. It's harmony. <clears throat> he goes, get rid of any sense of doership. You know that everything is perfect because you're one with God. If God even has a thought, it comes into being, which that's who you are. You're one with that. You're one with God, the Father. There's no limitation on God, which is yourself. Now, some of you might get shocked here, but I'm going to show you something in Scripture. There's no limitation on God, which is your true self or your true identity. Whatever you think will quickly come into being because you're invoking infinite power of God. You're invoking the infinite power, guys, meaning unstoppable, unshakable, limitless power. That's your true being. Nothing can stop it, which is God, which is yourself. All right. Now, let me just show you this. This is kind of interesting to me. Um, <clears throat> a lot of you guys will be familiar with this verse. And we just shared this this morning in the uh, online fellowship. We'll do it again at 6 o'clock Mountain, 8 Eastern at uh, freedomministries.live, passwords freedom. So, all right. A lot of you guys are in, familiar with John 1, but I want to show you something. Starting in verse two, he was in the beginning and through him, all things were made and without him, nothing was made that was made in him was life. And that life was the light of men. That light shines in darkness. Darkness has not overcome it. Now let's go look at this in the inner, inner, because here's what it says. You can sit in a chamber somewhere. The highest state is realizing your true identity that you can, you can access everything that already exists in love guys. <clears throat> If it's your doing, it's not God. That's you doing it. That's the second state of consciousness or awareness where it's action, which is great. But there's a higher state. Can you create from the field instead of matter pushing matter? You just know, I know this is perfect. I see, I see my business as perfect. I see my health as perfect. Everything's in order. My wife is amazing. My, my husband's amazing. My kids are so blessed and amazing. My grandkids are so blessed and amazing. My country is so unified and beautiful. Everything works. And you can say that in any country, guys. When you start to see it as perfect and already in harmony versus the whole country is going to blank in a handbasket, right? Well, that actually causes that dissonance, creating more of it where you go, I see everybody and everything is one with God and everything's in harmony. This is why the International Peace Project is so interesting to me is they don't pray for peace or I must get this leader elected or I must have this. No, no, no. They simply see the world as peaceful and enjoy it as if it's already in peace. And it literally starts to affect every human being's consciousness at the same time, because we're all connected. Everything that is, is made out of the same substance, which is light, which is God himself. So it says, when you, when you know that everything's perfect and you start to see everything perfect, that is the infinite power of God, which is yourself. Nothing can stop it. Now, this is where people are going to go. That's blasphemy. All right. Verse three, through him. All things were made. Without him, nothing was made that is made. Meaning the source of everything is through him. Now let's look at the end of the linear. John 1, I'm going to go to verse 3. <clears throat> Panta, all things, D. So this is the uh, iota or yod, the finished work of entering into intimacy. Him. Oh, interesting though. In Greek, it doesn't have a capital. This capital H is translators ultimately in the fourth century from latin and then ultimately to english this is atu and i've shown you this over and over and over self emphatic go on to the first word self self now you really start to look at this so this is self so this is, says the source of everything is from ourselves that causes it to come into being so everything that is let me read this again I realize that 
everything that happened to me initially started with a thought. Everything comes to being in our self. And he says, when you know that everything is perfect, you are releasing infinite power, which is God or your self. This is the true identity, guys. You're one with God. And it causes it to come to mean. And this autus literally is, uh, I've shown you this in Greek. So you've got, <clears throat> you've got, uh, once you know that every every Greek letter is literally from a Hebrew letter in this, or the meanings. So you've got the left off and they got upsilon. So upsilon, um, and I've shown you this, you can go to greece.com, info language, alphabet. You can go uh, Britannica topic, Greek alphabet. So you've got this alpha. And here you see a combination of this alpha upsilon. If you go to greece.com, these are just sources, but if you go to upsilon, more about upsilon. <clears throat> so it's uppercase into English, almost a vowel letter. It went into Latin as a V. It's the ooh sound. And if you if you go dig into it more, it literally says from the vav. Well, from man. Well, that's interesting. So what is it saying? When you go here, so it's the finished work of the covenant, the strength of the ox of the covenant <clears throat> of the man within. And then ooh, you've got this ooh, translated as no or not often. But it literally, as I've shown you this, as it says, if you go look at all the no's or the nots in the New Testament in Greek, it's, it'll have this ooh, which is Omicron Upsilon. So at Omicron, I've shown you this, Omicron, it's the eye. It's a picture of an eye. And Omega is the big eye, the last eye. So there's the first eye and there's the last eye. But if you go read it, it says it is literally from um, the Hebrew letter. I in or to perceive or behold or experience or understand in the unseen. That's I in. Now, it was translated as no or not in the fourth century because there was no man there and by no perceived means. Well, that's not what it is, though. <laughs> it means it's the man within. It's Christ within, the anointing within, literally. So <clears throat> anyway, you can go you can go dig up where all this came from. But uh, I'm just showing you, like, if you go into Omicron, um, Omicron, you, you'll go find that it. it's it's the 70, it's the IN. Um, if you look at here, <clears throat> Omicron is the I. So anyway, those not those I those no's or nots were I in. So it literally says the finished work of the man within <clears throat> the man, the work of the man shall be revealed, come into being. You will experience the man which causes everything to come into being. And without chorus, very similar, charis, self, <clears throat> everything, not even one thing, and this not even is, is going to be ude again. It's going to be the unseen man. Everything comes into being. If you go to the next verse, and in him life was. Zoe is. Well, what is this him? It's God or self. It's within, guys. And it's n. This is the noon or the seed of God. The life or the existence, it's the, the 50 that is be, behold or revealed by grace. Hey, so it says, this life within yourself shall be revealed. And this life was the light of men, anthropos. So let's go look at this, this light. <clears throat> this is kind of interesting. It says, phos. So properly light, especially in terms of results, what it, what it manifests, the manifestation of God's self-existent life, self-existent life. This is Aaron's rod. It's all the different imageries that you see in scripture, which is in the holiest of holies, right? The Aaron's rod was not the rod of a man. Aaron's rod was the rod that has the seed within itself. I mean, this is creation from within yourself. This isn't the husband and wife coming together in creation. This is the rod of Aaron, the one that the one that creates and gives a bud's life within itself. Okay. And then if you go down, it's interesting, but it's from the Hebrew or, which is light. So or, so you got the, <clears throat> the finished work of the strength of the ox of the man, Vav of the highest point of the man's head, resh. That's or, it's light. So in you is the source of everything. Let's read that again. <clears throat> in If we go back to John 1, 3. Everything comes into being from atu, from within yourself. But it's exactly what science is showing, guys. When you perceive everything as beautiful and in harmony, you literally rearrange every light atom that comes into order to fulfill your thought. And there's nothing the outside of yourself that comes into being, not even one thing. Everything comes into being through yourself. Let's read this again. 
when you realize your true identity, you can simply see life how you want it to be. And what I'm trying to teach you is your true identity, guy, is limitlessness. It's abundant. It's omniscient because it's God. God is. And it exists in you. And it has been from the beginning is what it says. The anointing of God is in every man. It says you could sit in a chamber. You don't do anything. You let sense of the set. You let, you let, you don't do anything. You let go of the sense of doership. I must do versus I am. And if you do something, whether it's business, your job, or it'll just be natural, it'll be enjoyable, it'll be full of life to you, but you simply can create. I wrote a little thing to myself. I said, this is creating at the speed of thought, which is the speed of light. Because this, all things are, exist and it comes from within yourself, which is the light or the false. It's the, <clears throat> so here's Omegron, it's the Shin and Fei. If you go look it up, um, it actually comes from, the eighth letter, Che. So this is the passion of the man that will be revealed in the inner chamber of men. That's the source of all, everything within Anthropos. Everything that exists comes from within yourself because it's one with God. It's so cool, guys, if you understand it. So let's finish with this again. If you accept that God is all and in through and everything and God is perfect, then everything comes to life effortlessly to you as perfection. You don't have to run here and there. You already are who you think you are or you desire to be. And you already have what you desire. When you realize that everything is at your disposal, you can simply see it how you want it to be. And it becomes where I love this. And I'm just sharing this again, what Jerry sent me. <clears throat> he says, uh, um, every atom in the universe literally moves to bring that thought into being. Any desire you have will literally be created by from within. That's how powerful it is, guys. That's your true nature is limitless. To start to see yourself as your true identity. Start to see life just beautiful and full of energy that everything that exists comes from within yourself. So if you want it to change anything, simply change what you pay attention to within. What you're, what you're seeing and feeling. Feel as if it's already done. Seeing as if it's already done. Seeing everything is perfect. My business is perfect. My family is perfect. Every, then there's no limits, guys. There's no limitation, which causes the dissonance. Well, what if this doesn't happen? What if that? That's that's not your true identity. Your true identity is limitless. You've believed there's a source outside of yourself. Get rid of all those limits. So your true identity is one with God and limitless. And you start to say, this is, so if you have anything that you want to change in life, know that when you when you simply see how you want it to be, that's not doing nothing, that's literally releasing the infinite power of God, which is unstoppable, which is the light of men, which is the source of everything that exists. So hopefully that helps, guys.